Hello, hello everybody. I can see Paul Vindra. I can see Sofia. I can see Adeyemi. I can see Dalu Sholo. I can see Larry, Josia. How are you guys doing? I can see my green belt certified student, Hossein. Um, it's a pleasure to be here with you all. I can see Farman, I can see Stephen, I can see Kennedy. I'm sorry if I didn't, I did not say your name. <laughs> I'm sorry if I missed your name, but I have to say I am truly happy to have you here. On a scale from zero to ten, how is my audio? How is my audio for you, please? How is my audio? On a scale from zero to ten. Yeah, is it good? Wonderful, excellent. So yes, 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 Wesley. I I will play. I will play. Oops! Sorry, 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 sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Here we listen to the voice of the customer. If the customer says that it's important to have guitar, we 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 follow this voice, okay? I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are doing great. Today we'll be talking about root cause analysis, root cause validation. Yeah? Good. Yeah.
played a kind of <clears throat> Michael Jackson medley, yeah? And I'm gonna end with, um, it's a song. It's a song. I think it's important, like, after you are not, are not alone, yeah? It's, I think it's important, this message. Uh, mainly because we have our own community here, yes? So I really hope you feel at home when we are talking about this crazy process mapping, root cause analysis, um, corrective actions, preventive actions, cypoc and uh, mini tab. I mm. hope you feel that you, if, if other people don't understand you, uh, don't feel alone, don't feel alone. There are other good, good, crazy people with you, okay? With you. And in conjunction with this message of you are not alone, we are together in this mission, we are together in this, in this operational excellence mission. Uh, I'm going to play another song named uh, I See the Light. I See the Light. Yeah, it's from a from a Disney movie named Tangled, yeah? <clears throat> Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I think I needed this this guitar session today. Thanks for Wesley to thanks for requesting. <laughs> I hope it was um, special for you all as as it it was for me to have the opportunity to play for you guys. It's a um, it's about energy exchange yeah it's a uh, it's about love <laughs> love it's a uh, love exchange yeah it's a trade it's a love trade <laughs> we are trading trading good things good vibes yeah thank you so much thank you so much thank you thank you so much thank you telia thank you dev thank you adri thank you wesley thank you Anne. thank you michelle michelle Thank you, Angela. Thank you so much, Angela. Thank you, Kennedy. Vindra. Thank you, Farma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Yeah? Let's go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
So now let's talk about root cause. Let's talk about root cause. Let's talk about root cause. This is a fascinating, fascinating topic because we love, we love, we love, we love to understand, to find the X of our function that truly impacts our y the x or the least of x's i can have more than one factor that impact my response right this is possible it is possible for sure so if i have my classic example here for some reason i i produced like 1000 of this plastic piece let's just call plastic piece yes and uh, and five of them, five of them were kind of not in the right mechanical resistance. Yes, it was fragile. Yeah, it was not robust enough. So it was breaking up very easily, very easily. Yeah. So we have like five out of 1000. We had 0.5% of of defective items or let's suppose I had 50 50 out of 1000 so I am talking now I'm talking about now I'm talking about 5% of defective items yes we want to understand the root cause do you feel do you feel the beauty do you feel the beauty yeah beauty 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 uh, of finding if this is connected to machine to people to material to method yes do you feel yes or not let me know here i have recently joined the green belt certification and haven't yet come to root cause is this session target to me oh that's a good question bunty this is an open session so now i will not be talking uh, deeply as you will see in green belt i will not this is an open session so it's more of um it's more of a general conversation about root cause. So I do strongly recommend that we stay here. I strongly recommend. Yeah. <clears throat> In your green belt session, you will find like different types of hypothesis testing. Uh, we'll go much, much, much deeper in terms of root cause. But this session is very, very special. Very, very special. Okay. I can guarantee you. Yes, Vindra. Yeah, no prerequisites. You are right, Vindra. Yes, for sure. Beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. So um, remember the remember the remember the the expression. You know, hypothesis. What's a thesis? What is a PhD thesis? What is a PhD thesis? It's pretty much a statement that was already validated already validated uh, yeah validated so if i this is my <laughs> this is my home oh my god i am getting old i'm getting old 10 years ago 10 years ago my 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 PhD thesis is from the from the University of uh, uh, São Paulo State University. So there is a statement. You will find a statement uh, saying that saying that in my conclusion session. In my conclusion session, saying that <clears throat> Six Sigma project, if my translation is correct, Six Sigma project portfolio management, PPM project portfolio management, is directly, directly impacted, impacted by elements elements or pillars of the business strategy strategy 
such as, such as financial health, revenue, market share, meeting customer demands related to the voice of the customer. Yeah. So this is a final statement. My thesis was specifically on Six Sigma projects for automotive uh, companies in automotive sector. Yeah, Brazil companies in Brazil, specifically in automotive sector. So we were able to find out that Six Sigma project portfolio management is directly impacted by, let's say, let's summarize saying by the strategic drivers, business strategic drivers. Well, this final statement was validated with a, a serious research work. Yeah. So at the beginning, at the beginning, I wrote a hypothesis. It's less than a thesis. This is a thesis validated. Hypo, hypothermia. Hypo is less than, it's half. So you can formulate hypothesis that's okay you can formulate elements that are weaker you know that that are less than less than a thesis but then in order to reject or accept you need to run your analysis yeah you must deep dive i don't know collect data deep dive on certain data sets yes collect new data run interviews does it make sense? So when we talk about hypothesis testing, it is okay. It is okay to formulate, to brainstorm, to brainstorm hypothesis. It's okay. It's okay. But please do not jump straight from hypothesis to solution. Hypothesis potential cause. Ishikawa. Ishikawa will place potential calls. I think I just came. <clears throat> I just came. I had to cancel two meetings before this session here. To a kind kind of kind of uh, uh, situation. It's not an emergency. It's a situation with my, my father. My father is here in my city. And uh, I had a, I had the opportunity. My father is 74 years old. I had the opportunity to drive to go to my father to a doctor. Yeah, to a doctor. And then the doctor presented presented some hypotheses, uh, some hypotheses about his fever. You know, some hypotheses. Wonderful. Now it's time to collect some data. To collect some data. Yeah, blood test. By, by the way, blood test, blood exam, <laughs> inferential statistics. My father is right now, right now with my sister, uh, using, using, practicing some inferential statistics, you know, benefits. So, and then based on the results, the, 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 the hypothesis will be validated or not. Validated or not. Yes, it's the same mechanics. You can brainstorm. That's okay. You can brainstorm. That's okay. But please, you know, the doctor cannot base based on a fever and, I don't know, his feeling about, I think, I guess, I guess the problem is this. I guess, I don't know, it's this virus. You know, I guess it's a flu, you know, and then take actions. No, 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 no. Just a little bit more. Please go a little bit further. Yeah, go a little bit deeper. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? And then our session today is pretty much to explore what do we do when we get the blood exam? What do we do when we collect the data in, in manufacturing, in service, in a bank? You know, what do we do when we have the data? in terms of statistical analysis yeah that's our that's our that's our mission in today's session does it make sense yeah yeah telia 
we are right now running a session in in Asia, Asia. So tomorrow Wednesday at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Uh, Singapore time. There will be another opportunity. It's the same website, okay? It's the same website um, for 24 hours as well. Yeah. Oh, Christian, I saw, I saw your post. Congratulations, Christian. Who else? Let, let me ask, where are you guys in the, in the Lean Six Sigma journey? So we have Christian that recently certified as a green belt. Come on, guys, make some noise here for Christian. Congratulations. I saw Hussein as well. He's a certified green belt. Is there any other, any other certified green belt here? Please let me know. Yeah. We have Adri, that's a white belt. Congratulations, Adri. Congratulations. Where are you in the in the Lean Six Sigma journey? White belt. I uh, love John. Wonderful. Uh Posto Bolele, green belt as well. Congratulations. Amazing. Chipo. I saw Chipo. I loved your posts. I loved your posts too. Congratulations, Chipo. Amazing, amazing. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So see, let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. I've opened up my, my mini tab and And then, what would you do? What would... Oh, this is a mic. Okay, guys, I hope you like... Do you guys like my, my, my mic? Is the sound okay? Hello, everybody. Yeah, and, and, and when I mute my mic, take a look. This is fancy. Oh. What would you do if... if we have a hypothesis related to the raw material. What would you do if we have a hypothesis related to the raw material? Let's suppose an operator says that it is breaking up because of, you know, this fragility is due to a supplier, you know? Yeah, let's suppose a certain, a certain um, expert argues that the mechanical resistance, mechanical resistance goes down when we use material from supplier B and it's okay when we have, um, you know, material from supplier A. That's okay. So I should try mechanical resistance with supplier A. Yeah, supplier A. And I need to collect some data for mechanical resistance for supplier B. Does it make sense so far? I need to check this hypothesis. Yeah, I need to check this hypothesis. Yeah. I need to check. And then I'm going to generate here. I'm going to play two scenarios, okay? I'm going to play two scenarios. Um, let's suppose I have 20 data points. Yeah. I have I have 20 data points in terms of mechanical resistance for supplier A and 20 data points in terms of mechanical resistance for supplier B. Yeah? So now what do we do? Because please, if you are my student, white belt, yellow belt, green belt, or if you are my follower and still did not have a chance 
to, to, to certify as a white belt, please, please, do not, do not, do, do not make this mistake here. Do, do, do not simply, do not simply calculate the mean. You know that, right? And say, yeah, and I can change the decimal place here. I can put, for example, a zero decimal place. You know, see, this is classic. Many people make this mistake. Yes, and now we have an important conclusion. We have an important conclusion. Supplier B is better than supplier A. Because supplier B, the mechanical resistance is 100. And for supplier A, mechanical resistance is 99. And then the person goes and does something like this. He, he, you see, you see, you see you see and then they go and do something like this something like this a beautiful powerpoint presentation you know with a bar like this you know for supplier b green 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 yeah supplier b And sometimes without even respecting the scale, you know, like then there is a supplier A in red, in red, you know. Yeah, and then there is a beautiful like mechanical resistance equals to 100, you know, much, much better. And supplier A. That is equal to ninety-nine. Are, 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 are we on the same page? Do you feel? Do you know at this point how dangerous is this? How dangerous is this? Do you feel at this point? Have you seen? Have you seen situations like this? Please type yes or no or no. If you haven't seen. I, a situation like this that's okay type here for me no yes yeah have you seen situations like that this is what we call a peer 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 deterministic approach you know peer deterministic approach this is poor this is poor this is this is poor this is amateur this is amateur and the the worst negative consequence of approach like that what's the worst negative consequence of an approach like that what's the worst negative consequence is that there is a risk that we are taking that we are making the wrong decision the wrong decision so we need to have at least a flavor in terms of we, we need to understand the probabilistic aspect you know of that so we need to have conversations for example like this one here or just to be different from the from the white belt let me use another <clears throat> Another tool. Let me see if this one here will be. Yeah, that's a good one, but it's not. No, I think ANOVA is, is, the, is the most, is the most, it's the simplest one, yeah? 
it's super easy to understand this let's let's plot the regular confidence interval yeah i don't want to i don't want to get into the technical technicalities of box plot nor individual value plot yeah so see so see i know that from supplier a yeah to supplier b supplier a to supplier b there is a difference i i i can see that i can see that okay i can see that but the one million dollar question is is this difference statistically significant is this difference statistically significant and that's what i want to explore today with you yeah because it is super critical super critical that you check when you argue that one thing is different from another thing in this case we are talking about mechanical resistance from two different suppliers when you argue that i i would i would really need to grab some water just give me 30 seconds 30 seconds <laughs> So I need to check if the difference is statistically significant, yeah? Statistically significant. And what is this? So root cause validation has to do with quantitative analysis. So you must run statistical analysis. You must run statistical analysis. And you need to check if you, what will you do, will you do with the hypothesis yes with the hypothesis and i want to explain yeah the beauty of p value yeah the beauty of p value how do we interpret this number what is a no hypothesis yeah and when should we uh, reject a no hypothesis yeah <laughs> it's more than 30 seconds it's one minute oh my god it's so there is a, 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 a um, accuracy accuracy problem on my side yeah i am not accurate my measurement system is not accurate So let's go little by little and you guys stop me here if there is anything that doesn't make sense here i need your here i need your full attention mode come here with me with your full attention mode so it's okay to brainstorm potential calls then you'll be prioritizing the potential calls using multi-voting or or pairwise comparison but after you have the, the most critical potential causes, you must you must validate with root cause. Yes. So there is something that we call no hypothesis. Take a look here. N U L L no hypothesis. So what is this? What is this? This is what we call status status quo. So what you are what we are saying here is uh, 
unless you bring me some strong evidences, I'm gonna consider, I'm gonna assume that supplier A and supplier B are the same. So, all means are equal. I don't know nothing about cars, let's suppose. So, unless you prove to me that, I don't know, a Lamborghini is faster than um, a Volkswagen, you know, a Fiat, unless you prove to me with data and the proper analysis, I'm going to consider that a Lamborghini and a Volkswagen, it's the same. They have the same speed. So I need to know if we are on the same page so far. Imagine that someone from Mars comes to Earth. Unless you prove, you present some evidence to this person from Mars, Marcelo plays soccer like Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, there is no data. There is no data. There is no evidence that Cristiano Ronaldo plays better than me. So uh, it, 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 it seems logical that I just assume, yeah, initially, initially, that they are the same. If I am claiming that one shift is better than another, that one machine is better than another, that one method is better than another, if I'm claiming, you better show me evidence. Because if I don't have evidence, I'll just assume that one method is equal to another. When my father is now, you know, taking some, you know, um, doing his blood exam, Many tests will just assume that he's okay. The no hypothesis is it's okay, it's all right, it's all right. Unless I see here in his blood that, ooh, ooh, I found an evidence. I found an evidence, yeah. And then if I find, if I find an evidence, in terms of, again, data, maybe I can reject. Maybe. Maybe I can reject the no hypothesis. If I have evidence. And then, if I reject the no hypothesis, I will take what we call alternative hypothesis. So if I reject no hypothesis, I'm going to take what I call alternative hypothesis. Are we good so far? Are we good so far? And you will understand why do we have this alpha of 0 0.05 yeah are we good so far I, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a real situation a real situation a real situation I'm gonna step out let me see yeah just one more time just one more time I'll be back I'll be back I hope you don't feel bad. I, I hope you don't feel bad, you know, down, because I'll do this in front of you. This is uh, no no merchandising. This is a chocolate. I have a problem with chocolate. I just love chocolate, not as much as cheese. Yeah, I think cheese is in first place. Yeah, uh, but uh, uh, I can only have 
one of these one of these per day one of these per day yeah if i wanna stay stay healthy yeah and and work normally and teach you guys yeah just one just one one per day one per day so let's suppose my wife hires a detective an investigator to check if i am eating chocolate more than i should probably the investigator in terms of time will monitor me um 100 of the time or not what do you think type here for me do you think the the the, the investigator the detective you know marcelo ronaldo <laughs> do you think the investigator would monitor me 100 percent of the time or not what do you think not all the time not all the time so in terms of number of observations he will the detective will have a sample not a population are are, are you guys with me are you on the same page it is impossible modeling modeling barrios perfect it is impossible for the investigator to monitor me 100% of the time because I can run to the restroom to the restroom I can go to the bathroom and just go there and and eat some chocolate are you guys with me yeah are we on the same page just sample so so when a detective presents a weekly report to my wife saying saying I I did not see Marcelo eating any chocolate that's the conclusion from the detective to my wife Alice I did not see Marcelo eating chocolate not once you know I didn't see at all zero 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 so uh, what's the conclusion what's the conclusion in this case what is the conclusion for this period of time during one week the investigator on his sampling strategy did not did not see me eating chocolate so what is the conclusion what's the conclusion because the no hypothesis in this case is Marcelo is innocent Marcelo is innocent Marcelo did not eat any chocolate ha huh, see see I just saw one person saying the conclude the final conclusion is Marcelo does not eat chocolate but then I see another person saying he didn't see you eat possibly you weren't eat any or didn't catch you eating eating them Marcelo is, is not eating chocolate more than normal ate no chocolate at all for one week Yeah, so see, so see. Let, let me know if that makes sense. The right conclusion is simply, simply. I was not able to see Marcelo eating chocolate. So I don't have 
evidences to say that Marcelo ate chocolate. It's different from saying that Marcelo is innocent. He's saying that I don't have evidence to say that he's guilty. It's different. Because maybe he had some chocolate in the bathroom. I don't know. So the right conclusion is, I don't have enough evidence to say that he's guilty. And that's why we say, we failed. We failed to reject his innocence. So, what I'm saying is, we can reject the no hypothesis or fail to reject the no hypothesis. Guys, we will never know if a person is truly innocent. Never know. No one has access to 100% of the time, you know, or the, the thoughts. The time may be, yes, but of the thoughts and the acts of, you know, of a person. That's why it's so common. It's so common, the expression, not guilty. Have you heard this expression? Not guilty. Not guilty. They don't say innocent. In many countries, they don't say innocent. <sighs> yeah, that's criminal law 101. Basic. Yeah, basic criminal law. It's not guilty. I mean, I'm not saying that you are innocent. My father-in-law is the police chief of my city. <laughs> my father-in-law. We have a very good relationship. I know my wife for 15 years. You know, we have a very good relationship. My father-in-law is retired, but I mean, he has the 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 the, the, the police. Let's say. Uh, environment yeah within himself yeah it's very interesting every time that we have contact you can see that his mind is always operating like that there is no innocent there is guilty and not guilty and in terms of root cause uh, when we say it is guilty what we are saying is, wow, we found the root cause. We found the root cause. Now, oh, wait, now I have an evidence. Now I have, you know, strong evidence, enough evidence, you know, to reject the no hypothesis, to say that they are different. This is very serious. Yeah, this is very serious because you can never, 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 you can never state in a meeting, in a presentation, that two suppliers are equal. Please, please, ladies and gentlemen, never make this mistake. It is impossible to have two suppliers that operate the same. No, these two machines are the same. No, no, no. Max, you can say. At this point, with the data that I have in hands, I don't have evidence to prove that they are different. So the difference is not statistically significant. But you are not saying that they are the same. No, these two operators are the same. No, 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 this is, this is impossible. <laughs> this is impossible.
there is only yeah two ways to go you know you have evidence to say that they are different or you cannot say yeah you cannot say that they are different they can be equivalent but this is another conversation they can be equal in a certain considering a certain range you know but the concept of equivalent statistical equivalence it's a it's another conversation for another master class yeah <laughs> why am i saying this i'm saying this because i need to check with you guys if if it makes sense if i say that for root cause validation there is always a risk there is always a risk associated to your final statement when you reject the no hypothesis or fail to reject the no hypothesis there is a risk i really need to check if you understood that type here for me while i have some chocolate type here for me Yes, Larry, beautiful. The prosecution has the burden of proof. Beautiful, model in bars. If there is no evidence of guilt, reasonable doubt, then it's not guilty. Mm, that's beautiful. Are you are you a lawyer, model in? Just out of curiosity. Because since 2019, the number of lawyers that are coming to take the green belt has boom has exploded i have two friends close friends that are lawyers and they 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 are certified green belts certified yellow belts becoming certified green belts you know. oh that's great that's great so another another lawyer that's wonderful thank you so much the mechanics it's the same the mechanics is absolutely the same yeah yeah. What's the right conclusion for the detective? The right conclusion for the detective again is the detective. The detective was not able to find enough evidence to say that I am guilty. So this is not innocent. He he cannot say that I am innocent. Many people wrote, "Wow, the conclusion is Marcelo didn't have." any chocolate and it's not because because it's simple it's simple it is simple so when i talk about inferential statistics there is always a risk there is always a risk and that's why we have confidence intervals that's why we have confidence intervals that's why we have margin of error that's why we have margin of error yeah <coughs> and why am i talking about probability why am i talking about there is a risk i'm sorry because now i i need to talk about this guy here i'll not be talking about f or or mean squared or sum of squares or degrees of freedom i'll not be talking about this but about p value p value i really need to talk about this Normally, statisticians don't like to associate p-value with probability, but but you know it, it it is extremely extremely simple to understand if you if you picture p-value as a chance a chance to reject the no hypothesis when you should not reject so i'm sorry all my statisticians friends you know but just in order to keep it as simple as possible yeah just for simplicity prioritizing the simplicity just to prioritize the simplicity 
you can have in your heart that p-value has to do with probability. You know, it's the chance that you reject the no hypothesis when you should not reject. So it's like, it's the chance that the judge, boom, guilty, guilty, plucked, be guilty when, when you should not do that. So I need to know if you understood that. Type here from yes. If you understood that p-value has to do with the probability, even though in that the statisticians don't like, you know, a lot to associate p-value to probability. It's the probability of rejecting the no hypothesis when, in fact, you should not reject. You should not reject the no hypothesis. Yeah, so it's like I am saying now that supplier A is different from supplier B when I should not say that. And I should not say that. Yeah, are we good? Are we good so far? Are we good so far? And what is the threshold because uh i mean no no no, no. Let, let, let me go back let me go back just one more time 0 0.291 so we are talking about 29.1 percent because p-value varies from 0 to 1 0 to 100 percent do you think 29.1 percent is okay in terms of you know probability in terms of risk it's the risk to state that they are different when in fact they are not do you think 29.1 percent is okay or it's a lot do you think it's okay or it is too much okay or too much It's, it's a lot. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. What is the classic, classic threshold used to say if it is too much or not? What is the one of the most used reference in statistics for the evaluation of a hypothesis? Who knows? 29.1%. What's a good threshold? What's a good limit for that? Let me see. Ah, that's my that's my certified green belt, Bolele. That's my certified green belt, Bolele. Yeah, 0 0.05. 5%. Christian, another certified green belt. 5%. Very, very, very famous very very famous so that's the significance level significance level yeah five percent so knowing that this guy here is way above five percent i mean too dangerous too dangerous too dangerous too dangerous to say to state that they are different it's better to no at this point i don't have evidence someone told about a uh, sample size interesting if i just you know keep uh let's see, sometimes even <laughs> let's make this sample size for uh, five times the, the the original size because the the margin of error varies with the square root of the sample size so sometimes simply doing something like that you can reduce the p-value see let's suppose 
instead of having 20 data points, now I have 100 data points. <laughs> so I, the, the, the attorney, yeah, the lawyer just came with more evidence more evidences so did you see what happened with the p-value can you guys see what's the conclusion now what's the conclusion now it doesn't mean that it is only about collecting more data don't get me wrong okay it, it's a matter of location spread and sample size spread location and sample size Yeah. Let me see if I can put in the same screen. So here in one screen we had zero point zero one five and here zero point can you guys see this is with 20 data points and this is with 100 data points so in the second case i would say that okay now i have i do have strong evidences now I do have strong evidence to go to my meeting and argue that the difference is statistically significant. Now I can go to a meeting. To, I, now I can propose to change from one supplier to another. Now I can propose to I can propose to to stop to discontinue, you know one supplier does it make sense so now i have evidence to reject the no hypothesis because this guy here is less than my alpha less than my alpha are we on the same page are we on the same page did you guys like this explanation yeah did you guys enjoy was it helpful P-value is so, so, so important. I will be posting here on the, um, on the description of this video the link to the file in the Lancet where you can find a paper with another hypothesis testing named chi-square. It's a hypothesis testing for discrete data. And then you'll be able to find a table. I would love to show a table where you can see many, many, many different p-values. I think it would be super, super, super helpful. Okay, just to illustrate and to and to close this this session on a on a very high high quality. Okay, I'm sorry that I was not able to find here here live with you guys but i'll be posting the link you can check later in this very same link okay and now i would love to take questions if you have any questions i'll be happy to take any questions from you guys please 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 let me know if you guys have any 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 questions okay probability of rejecting the no hypothesis when when in fact it shouldn't be correct yes yes 0 0.05 perfect yes absolutely absolutely one minute time under this stat menu which op option did you select in this case i went to i went to anova stat anova yeah analysis of variance and then one way uh, stat ANOVA and then one way that's the option oops that's the option sir please and Vindras 
let me see here this was based on the entire population or sample it must be sample so hypothesis testing always with sample yeah how do you know how big the sample should be to be truly true truly argue the case so sample size one of the ways to check the sample size is by power power of the test you know so you can yeah the, that would demand an entire new conversation yeah an entire new conversation but power and sample size they go hand in hand yeah yeah uh what else what else yes absolutely absolutely this video will stay here open open to to anyone yeah no the notes no the notes no unfortunately no but the session yes is there a two way ANOVA? in fact to run a in the past yes in the past we had two way ANOVA. now you need to use this option here that is uh, GLM, yeah, General Linear Model, to run a two way ANOVA. Yeah, one of the ways, Elias, it's really, um, for example, to run a one way ANOVA. Uh, in this case, we had two levels. Then you open up your sample size. You can put the difference that you are trying to argue. So, for example, two power. Normally, it's from 80. 80. Sometimes 85 is good. Sometimes 90. The recommendation is don't go above 90. But you can do 95, 99 if you want. And you need to have the standard deviation. And then Minitab will give you different sample size. See? If you want a power of 80%, 37 per group. Per group. If you want 85, 42 per group. If you want a power of 90%, 49. Power is the ability, 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 a capacity of rejecting all hypotheses when in fact you should reject. When in fact you should reject yeah yeah what else what could be the simplest definition of p-value yeah the simplest definition of p-value is really the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when you should not reject or maybe the simplest is the probability of losing your job when you state a conclusion <laughs> The probability of saying, you know, something completely wrong. Yeah, completely wrong. Yeah. It's that. That's the simplest. Yeah, super simple, super, super simple. Uh, people, people say that P value should not be considered, you know, a probability because depending on the sample, it will change. It changes depending on the sample. Yeah. Uh, P value, in fact, almost always comes from, in this case, it comes from um, integral calculation of an area under a curve. Yeah. Power is different from confidence interval. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Yeah, guys, just be careful in saying acceptance of no hypothesis because we can never accept no hypothesis. We can only reject no hypothesis or fail to reject. Reject or fail to reject. Yeah. We never accept no hypothesis. Accept no hypothesis means we are saying that uh, it is innocent. Yeah? And to accept a no, a no, no hypothesis, we would need to have the entire population data. Yeah? Uh, 
Absolutely, yes. All the administrative points, please, uh, we can discuss via email, yeah? With me or my team. Support at mftreinamentos.com Yeah? Questions, questions, questions. Guys, thank you so much. And I'll be posting, I'll be posting the link here with the... Um, with the paper, with the paper, yeah? With the Lancet, the Lancet. A paper with a p-value, yeah? Professor, please, how do you know the right power? Power, we recommend 80%, 80%, yeah? Guys, thank you so much, and I really hope to see you soon. Thank you very, very, very much for staying here until the end of this session. It was a pleasure, as always, to stay here with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.